Now, just a day after being sworn in, in the con as the country's new president, Sri Lanka's Ronald Vikramasinghe is now sworn in the island nation's new prime minister. The senior lawmaker Dinesh Gunavardhane has now been sworn in as Sri Lanka's new prime minister and Gunavardhane happens to be a veteran politician and also a former foreign minister who hails from one of Sri Lanka's most prominent political families. He was also President Vikramasinghe's classmate when they were back at school. Now, along with the Prime Minister, Vikramasinghe has also appointed the new cabinet for his government. And according to reports that have come in, the former Finance Minister Ali Sabri has been given the External Affairs Department. Interestingly, no member of the Rajapaksa clan has been given any ministry. Now, amidst these political development, authorities have also beefed up security outside Sri Lanka's presidential office. And this comes just hours after the security forces had cleared a major protest site and it also made several arrests in Colombo. Fresh protests erupted early in the morning when the police are reported to have blocked the roads to limit travel. Dozens of union members also staged protests denouncing the latest crackdown by the Sri Lankan police. <laughs> Now this has come after hundreds of riot police wielding batons and shields raided the presidential secretariat and also a nearby protest camp at midnight, arresting at least about eight people. The footage that's, that's emerged on the social media from yesterday's crackdown showed soldiers armed with assault rifles storming the campsite. As daylight broke, dozens of troops marched through the area, dismantling the tents. The dozens of protesters were injured, including some journalists who were reportedly beaten by the security forces. Last night we normally we stay there. Uh, government troops came, uh, 2,000 troops came here uh, and uh, they blocked the all um, roads, uh, put the barriers and uh, destroyed our tent and our property. Uh, and they, they wanted to rescue the um, presidential secretary uh, office uh, and uh, they beat us really badly. Uh, they beat uh, deaf people, disabled people also, they uh, beat it very badly, very cruelly. All right, now to give us more insights in terms of what can of course be expected in the political scenario in Sri Lanka, we're being joined in by Amanta Pereira who is a researcher from the Central Queensland University. Now, Mr. Pereira, thank you very much indeed for speaking to us on Vyond. Now, this, this is an interesting development that has taken place where Ranul Vikramasinghe was not really very popular with the protesters. Just before he swore his new prime minister and his cabinet has gone ahead and also dismantled the protest side from outside of the presidential secretariat. Has he started off by putting a foot wrong in sending out his message of how he intends to deal with the country? Well, for all appearances, he has. Now, if you look at the way this uh, raid or like the government says this rescue operation took place, it took place in the pre-dawn hours, around one o'clock Sri Lanka time. Why would you launch a rescue operation at one o'clock in the morning? And also, we shouldn't forget the fact that the protesters had agreed to vacate that site during the afternoon of Friday, which is today. So if you have been given an assurance that the site was, was supposed to be vacated, why would you launch a raid to wrest control uh, with armed forces in the middle of the night? Now, that's one. The other thing is, why would you prevent ordinary citizens from recording what was happening when that raid was taking place? So for by all appearances, this probably was not the best uh, message to send out to the international community. Absolutely, and indeed to the people of Sri Lanka as well, because they are looking at every step that Ronald Vikramasinghe takes very closely now. 
Uh, Ranul Vigrav Singh has sworn in a new Prime Minister and a new Cabinet. There is no member of the Rajapaksa clan who is now a part of the Cabinet. Do you think he's, he's you know, picked the right people to do what many describe as an impossibly difficult job of pulling the Sri Lankan economy out of the difficulty that it finds itself in? Well, I guess like the fact that he has appointed these personalities into the Cabinet uh, gives you the indication that he thinks he has made the right choice. Now, what we need to understand is like, what did the protesters ask for? They asked for the clean break from the past, from the past that was riddled with the Rajapaksa name. Now, does this cabinet indicate a clean break? It does not. All these members who are in the cabinet are either associated with the Rajapaksas in the past or the Vikram Singh regime in the past. So it doesn't indicate a clean break from the past. So it's not going to send a signal of stability, a signal mm -hmm. of breaking from the Raj boxes to the people who have been protesting on the streets. Now, a lot of people within Sri Lanka see Ranul Vikramasinghe as a Rajapaksa man. They accuse him of, of, in fact, being, you know, the person in charge of Sri Lanka who's been put in place by the Rajapaksas themselves because of the support that he's got from Rajapaksa's party. Is, is that a criticism? that Ranul Vikramasinghe will be able to overcome in the days to come? It depends with what he does in the next days to months to uh, years if he stays in office. But in the few weeks that he has been in office, hmm. he has for all appearances appeared as someone who is continuing with the same tone, the same trend the Rajapaksa set. Look at how the military reacted today to the protesters. Uh, so that is not something that you would associate with someone who just a month ago said that he would not support the government if the protesters were assaulted, if the protests were dealt in any way militarily. Now, the task that Ronald Vikram Singh has on his hands is to pull the Sri Lankan economy out of the doldrums. The fact of the matter is, Sri Lanka has run out of its foreign exchange reserves, which means that it has no money to purchase essential food supplies, such as food, medicines and other things like fuel. Now, this is not going to be an easy task for Ronald Vikram Singh, but has he got the strategy in place, you know, to be able to provide the people of Sri Lanka the food the fuel and other essential supplies that they need? Well, we don't know what his strategy is. What he has been saying when he has been when he, from the time he was appointed prime minister is that the next two weeks are going to be difficult. And then he comes back and says the next two weeks are going to be difficult. So we need to see what his strategy is. And for starters, he needs to bring stability to the streets where protests have just crippled the country. And what was what happened in the morning today is in no way going to bring stability to the streets. So if you're going to negotiate with the IMF and with the others, you need to show stability and, and some sort of calm on the streets. And the international condemnation for the crackdown today in the morning has been swift. Absolutely indeed. And my last question to you, Mr. Pereira, is it's been less than two weeks that we saw those scenes of thousands of protesters storming the presidential secretariat, the once strongman leader of Sri Lanka, Gotabaya Rajapaksa had to flee from the country. Ronald Vikramasinghe is the man who is now in charge. He said that things will get worse before they get better. And if they don't get better, how long do you think Ronald Vikramasinghe will sit on the president's chair? Well, I think his days would be numbers if he just is going to say that it's going to be worse before it gets better. He needs to change things and he needs to change things fast. And first of all, he needs to calm the tension on the streets before he, uh, he does anything. And he hasn't started off from the right foot. He needs to give a, a sense of assurance to the protesters on the streets to sh tell them that, look, uh, we've had a clean break. We're going to work this through. Things are difficult, but if right. we work together, we can get through this. That's not the message that came through in the morning. Absolutely indeed. That is not the message that came through in the morning. Thank you very much indeed, Mr. Pereira, for joining us and getting us all those insights. It will be very interesting to see as to how the protesters, of course, see these very first steps that are being taken by the Sri Lankan president. Thank you. Vyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.